Hi, I'm Dustin Weiniger. I have another review video for you today. Today I'm reviewing the Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know that I've been using this chronograph a lot lately for powder comparisons and other things. But today I thought I would do a video on the chronograph itself and tell you everything that I love about it. So let's get right into it. First, let's take a look at what it comes with. It does come with this carry bag. And I'll be honest, there is no padding in this. This is not protective at all. But for what it is, it works great just to carry the chronograph around. Open it up. This is the unit itself. And before I go any further with anything else, let's just take a little overview of this. It's got the power button right here on the right side if you're looking this way, or left side if you look from the front. When you turn it on, you can turn it on in meters per second or feet per second, which is what I've used exclusively so far. It's got a nice display on the front with an easy to read screen, big numbers. Over on this side, you've got one port that's just for factory use. That's just for calibrating the machine. So you won't do anything with that. But then you've got this other port for an auxiliary cable where you can actually attach a smartphone or a tablet, which I'll talk about a little later. Down on the bottom, you've got battery storage. It's got the battery that powers it and a compartment for an extra just because you know you may run out or run, run that battery dead out in the field. Up on top, you've got the front sensor and the rear sensor. And on the very bottom, I should mention also, you've got a place where you can mount a tripod if you'd like. Now, going into the bag, you've got the instructions for use. And then here are the sunscreens, which go up above the sensors. They conveniently have these clips that store the rods. And I'll just show you real quick the assembly of this. It's very easy. Start at the back. Rods just go into these holes on the top of the unit itself. And then there are these holes on the shades that fit over the rod, bend down, and it's just the tension of that bend that holds it in place. No screws, bolts, or anything like that. Go ahead and attach the front shade as well. So that's what it looks like assembled and ready to go. I'll go ahead and turn it on in feet per second. And as it comes on, it's going to say FPS for feet per second, and then it counts down from five. After it gets to zero, you'll see this display, and it's now ready to be used. And if you're not sure how a chronograph works, the bullet passes over the front center, or sensor, and then over the rear sensor, and whatever time it takes to pass between the two, it uses that to then calculate the velocity that it's traveling. Now let's set that aside for a moment. One more item in here, which is the auxiliary cable to hook this thing to your smartphone or your tablet. Now on the packaging, it says that it comes with a 15 foot cable. This is actually a 25 foot cable that came with it. Now I don't know if that was a mistake uh, put in there by accident or if that's what they do now and they've just not updated the advertisement, but I'm very happy with this cable. I'm able to stretch out from where my shooting table is out to where the chronograph is and have slack so that it's not tugging and running the risk of tipping my chronograph over. Now I'd like to pause here for a moment to tell you about one of my very favorite things about this chronograph, and that is the app that comes with it that you can download onto your smartphone. Let's take a look at how that works. I've attached my iPad now to the Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph using the provided auxiliary cable. This is what the home screen of the app looks like. And up in the corner, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little icon of the cord. And when that turns green like it is now, that means that you've successfully connected it. And on this home page, it says zero feet per second. And if I were to start shooting over this chronograph, I would be getting displays of my velocity both over here on this screen on the unit. And they would also be stacking up right here on this home screen. Now, if you go to new group here at the bottom, you can organize and collect data for a specific load. Up here there's a description where you can name the load that you're using. If you're outside and you have internet, it'll actually note the temperature and the barometric pressure as those things can have an effect on your velocities and that's something to know if you're really trying to make some precision loads. Then you'll just press start and after you press start, I'll just go ahead and do that. Now it's recording for lack of a better term. So if I were to fire a shot over the chronograph here, it would pick up again there and it would also list it right here. Now it would list the velocity 
And if I've noted the weight of my bullet, it will also note the foot-pounds of pressure that would be delivered by that shot. And then you fire as many shots as you want, and as you go over here, it will be automatically calculating the data of these loads. Now I'm going to do a screen recording so that you can see this app working in real time. Now when I do screen recordings with my phone, it actually does not record sound, but I will go ahead and throw some gunshot sound effects in there, and you'll just be able to see what this app screen looks like as shots are being fired. Well, I'm sure you'd like to actually see this chronograph in action, so why don't we head out now to the west desert of Utah and do some shooting. I'll be shooting the Colt Walker. And here's the data for those five shots. Now you'll notice, if you can see on your screen, it did not note temperature or barometric pressure as I did not have any internet data where I was shooting. But I've got in the description here, 1847 Colt Walker, 0.54, excuse me, 0.454 round ball, 48 grains of GoX Triple FG. Over here, I've got my velocities listed and then foot pounds of pressure since I did know the weight of the ball. Over here, Shows my average velocity was 1,121.2 feet per second. And it's got other things on here, minimum, maximum, shows the spread. This is really convenient, and I don't even have to do the math anymore. Everything is just automatically calculated, so this really can't get easier, in my opinion. I have to say, between the cost of this chronograph, which is usually under $100, depending on where you find it, sometimes well under $100, and the ease of the setup, and not to mention this app that comes with it. I am just absolutely happy with this thing. Now it is available in what they call a premium kit, which will come with a tripod and a light set to replace your sunshade so you can shoot in lower light. And it also comes with a heavier bag. But honestly, for the price difference, I would recommend just getting the basic kit that I've shown you today. The chronograph unit is exactly the same either way. And as long as you're out shooting when the sun's shining, I mean, you really don't need the light set, and the tripod is pretty flimsy. You can get a better tripod probably for around $20, I would guess. But the basic set by itself, like I said, I think that's just fine for you and for most people, definitely for me, and I just couldn't be happier with this chronograph. Well, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Also, click on the video description so you can see where to follow me on social media. Thank you so much for watching.